Welcome back everyone to the next video of Let's Make a Clash Royale like game in Unity. So in this one we're just going to diving into this Playfab right here. So we go to playfab.com, we'll click on sign up for free, and we'll fill all this out right here. Just creating a simple email address, password, and confirm it. Um, so I've already done that. We'll log in. Um, so we're going to click on new studio when we log in and we'll type in, you know, my awesome studio or something like that. You know, the name of your, the name of, you know, your company, your studio, uh, whatever. So I already have one right here called YouTube, uh, YouTube tutorials. We're going to click on new game and we're going to say, you know, my amazing game, right? Uh, whatever title of the game is, if you have a website, you have a logo, um, you have an expected launch date, you know, more than a year from now, whatever. Your platform, you know, whatever platform that you want to do. Uh, if it's single player or multiplayer. If it's going to be a casual game or a competitive game. And if it's going to be a free to play or a premium model. None of these settings really matter that much. They're not going to change anything inside of it or anything like that. Um, so I already have our Clash Like tutorial on right here. So we're going to go inside of here and we're just going to do some, just going through and, you know, figuring out what this place actually is. So this is our dashboard right here. We'll see our users, our logins, um, the installs, which uh, doesn't really matter to us right now, our purchases, which also really doesn't matter, and a play stream over here, which is basically just the history of what happened. So, you know, the title was created, the secret key was changed, stuff like that. We'll get into secret keys in a little bit. Um, in the next tab, we have players. So this is where all of our players are going to be. Um, if I were to go to one of my other games, uh, whatever, it doesn't really matter which one. We'll see that we have a couple players in here. And, you know, get information about them, you know, what their inventory looks like, their virtual currency, their characters, that kind of thing. Um, we're going to get into that more in the next one when we start doing logins and stuff like that. Um, that's fine for right now. So the next one's called Economy. This is where we're going to create all of our items and our currency. We can click on uh, new currency. It needs a two character code. So something like, you know, players, um, I don't know, coins, right? And we can just call this players coins. Um, say, you know, when they first create it, they gain 500 coins and they don't recharge. So there we go right there. Uh, we can set it up where you can change it to, okay, there's, you get 10 coins every day, and we have a maximum of like 10,000 coins, something like that. So that's how this part works. Um, the other part of here is this cat uh, catalogs. So in the catalogs, this is where we're going to create all of our items. We can call this just items for right now. We might come back and change it. That's fine. And this is just where we're creating all of our items, our bundles, containers, drop tables and stores. So this is where the online area of it's going to be, um, you know, if we have a store where the care, where the players can actually buy, you know, gems or um, different cards or whatever you can have in here. Um, so this is just one of the items. It has an ID, a class, and a couple other things. You can put in some custom data in here, um, usually in a key and a value, like a dictionary. Um, so that is basic uh, economy right there. The next one down is leaderboards. Uh, these leaderboards are just a static na uh, a statistic name that say, you know, uh, let's say player kills. Uh, it will reset monthly and we always want um, always use the highest value or something like that. And um, the players can now track, you know, okay, who has the highest kills in the game? Something like that. Um, the next few we're really not going to be using for right now. Um, get into multiplayer if we need to do any stuff with uh, scripting, content. We probably won't be doing that much. 
um, automation we might do because we have if we need to do any cloud scripting or um, some rules or stuff like that um, this one is just a more in-depth of that dashboard we can get into more reports uh, web hooks event stuff uh, the next one that we're going to look into is add-ons and this is just all these other add-ons that we can put in the game um, the big one for us is going to be this photon because that's how we're going to handle our multiplayer um, but we'll be able to put in you know twitch or facebook or um, all these other ones if we needed to okay so the next one's going to be in settings um, settings there is a few things in here that we can do um, the API if we needed to know what our title ID or publisher ID if we need to change a couple features to it uh, the secret key um, the secret keys are known just for the actual server admin um, API calls uh, I will be deleting this key afterwards uh, just in case if anyone tries to uh, get into here um, but going on so we have the email preferences um, so a send alert notification to this one and then if you needed to do a player count password reset it will come from this one right here you can set it up to whatever that you want um, push notifications we might dabble into for Android or iOS um, probably Android just because that's what I have and it'll be easier for me to actually do that part uh, the limits is your next part and this is just saying okay as a free uh, as a free uh, free account you can have 250 items eight virtual currencies and so on and so on and so on um, we will not be doing any paid stuff for this at all um, we're going to be staying well within our limits and then the client profile options is just allowing the client access to profile properties stuff like this again we probably won't touch this stuff again uh, under admin um, this is just the history of it and if you needed to add a credit card if you wanted to do the premium service um, and the final one is help and this is where we're going to get most of our API documentation um, so go into here and you needed to know go to the client API and we needed you know something right we wanted to know how to log in with Facebook so we go into there and we type all this stuff kind of all this stuff in and we can log in through Facebook with it um, we'll be going into here a lot um, for each time we have to make an API call uh, the other part in here is where we're going to download the SDK for unity so we're going to hit download the SDK we are using unity does work in Unreal and in uh, the Unreal Blueprints and Unreal C++ if for any reason that you were trying to do something in one of those engines and a couple other ones as well uh, so we're going to Unity and all we need to do is download this editor extensions so there's that right there uh, we got that project set up right here and we're just going to uh, run that just open that up right here it's gonna do some deep um, pressing all that kind of stuff and this is all the, the unity stuff for uh, the playfab stuff for unity so we'll import that in and finishing this off right here okay so now we have this tab right here. So here's our PlayFab tab. Um, we have a login. So we'll type in that same username and password or email and password that we created before. And it's going to say no SDK installed. Install PlayFab SDK. Okay. So we click on that one. And it's preparing all the packaging, importing it, so on, compiling all the scripts. Uh, 
And there we go. We have the highest one. We have the newest, uh, the latest SDK. But it is saying before making any PlayFab API calls, the SDK must be configured to your PlayFab tile. So we're going to hit set my title. I can go into settings, projects, and we want whatever studio that we named. So that was that YouTube, YouTube, uh, YouTube tutorials and that clash like. And this number is our title ID. Um, and here we have a few more things. So this is all of our studios, the API, if we wanted to enable different API stuff, um, if we wanted the notification plugin, uh, go into data, uh, that's going to be stuff that we might use, we might not. And then that's where we can import our cloud script when we create that. Um, and that is it for PlayFab. Um, so we can log out, uh, just close out of that. We can go into PlayFab and dashboard, or not dashboard, I'm sorry, that will load that up. Um, window PlayFab editor extensions to bring this back up again. Um, this is the main part right here. Uh, as far as I can tell, you'll need to reset these every single time you log in. And we want that Unity www. Um, PlayFab up here will also get you a getting started, a dashboard, and the documentation. So just in case, if you need to get back to here. Um, and that is actually going to be it for this video it's actually it was a very short video just explaining a little bit on how playfab is this is where we're going to store all of our character all of our players so they each have their own account um, they'll have different stats based on you know whatever that you want that we can track in the leaderboards they'll have that's where their level is going to get stored um, what um, how many uh, clash royale call them crowns and how many of those they have, and so on and so forth, uh, where all the cards are going to get stored, and all that kind of stuff. So that is actually going to be it uh, for this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time.